This guy simply ate vegan in a caloric surplus and almost dies of a heart attack right away. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you wanted me to react to healthy versus unhealthy vegan shocking experiment on plant-based news. Yes, shocking indeed, if you believe there is a healthy way to eat vegan. Let's have a look. It was the middle of the night when I woke up my heart was beating out of my chest like I had Okay, first impression right away, the guy looks super unhealthy. Very, very pale, dark eye circles, sunken in face, very vegan looking. Never experienced before in my life. After a few days went by, I spoke to my doctor and he said, you have to go to hospital right now. Yeah, that's pretty much what all vegans face. I'm sure he refers to his obese version, but ultimately they're all gonna end up in the hospital if they want to stay vegan long term. Hey everyone, it's Andrew Hello. Roberts here with Plant Based News and today I want to share with you my experience of how I purposely gained 55 pounds of pure fat in the space of just six months and then how I lost it all again in the following six months. Now I'm sure you're thinking, what kind of crazy person would want to put on all that weight on purpose? Not necessarily. Am I right? No. There was two main reasons I did it. The first was that I wanted to get a better understanding of some of the feelings and emotions my clients experience when they're overweight and going through the weight loss process. Okay. Good examples of this include what it's like to develop bad eating habits and what it's like to experience cravings. The second reason I did it was because I, I cannot relate to anything this man says. Why are we talking about emotions? Why are we talking about cravings? Your clients would feel perfectly satiated, wouldn't have any emotional roller coaster if they would eat their species specific diet. A huge believer in the power of a whole food, plant based diet for health, <laughs> the power, <laughs> and sustainable fat loss. I knew uh... that by doing this crazy experiment, I could show just how effective the diet can be for fat loss. Yes, it is absolutely crazy, man, because you gained that fat on a plant-based diet and then starved yourself yet again on a plant-based diet. I can only imagine the amounts of plant oils that you consumed. Hopefully inspire some Disgusting. people to give it a go. To put on all this weight, I completely stopped working out and went from eating 2,000 calories of healthy vegan food to eating 5,000 calories of vegan junk food every single day. Bad. So here we have a week's worth of vegan junk food. Okay, that's vegan junk food. I thought this is the healthy version for most vegans nowadays. Let's have a look. We have avocados, we have healthy plant meat, Milk here from Oatly. We have the vegan butter, vegan cheese, vegan mayo, orange juice. All of this is advertised as healthy. And this is exactly what I'm eating every single day to hit my 5,000 calories. Guys, don't get me wrong, respect where respect is due. I have to applaud the guy that he at least understands that this here is junk food. But as I said, for most vegans, this is a totally normal day of eating. The first few weeks were, well, interesting to say the least. Although the food I was eating was absolutely delicious, the novelty quickly wore off. It's kind of like Christmas. As a one-off, it's great, but if it's every single day, you get a bit tired of it. What yep. shocked me is just how quickly I got hooked on the new food I was eating. If you had offered me my old breakfast, which was this peanut butter porridge, which I loved, <laughs> versus my new breakfast to help me gain weight, maple peak and crunch. Yeah, and what is the difference now exactly? Wow, those two things are not comparable at all. Man, what is the main difference here? In both bowls, you have a bunch of grains, a bunch of plant oils, nuts and seeds. Okay, maybe in the cereal you have some additional sugar. If you really believe the couple of grams sugar are the problem in this food here, I cannot help you. I would have chosen this option <laughs> all day long. What? But the thing that shocked me the most in the first three weeks is the fact that I gained one whole stone, which is 14 pounds. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all because you said you were eating only 2000 calories of healthy vegan food you were starving and this is why you gained weight rapidly. Your body took that chance to store as much fat as possible because it was in starvation mode. Not only are you starving because you're eating only plants, but on top of that, you're eating calorically restricted. Fast forward three months and I felt terrible. My sleep quality had deteriorated massively. I started to snore. 
gangster. Honestly, even though he looks sleepy, he still looks healthier here than he looks now. Started to snore, gained stretch marks, felt exhausted all the time and even got a little bit breathless when doing some housework. Despite all of this, my cravings were more intense than ever. It was a vicious cycle. Yeah, obviously, because you're force feeding yourself, you have huge insulin spikes and therefore you were hungry. The worse I felt, the more I craved the junk food. I yep. feel just so exhausted constantly, absolutely knackered and the mental. What is this experiment about, man? Obviously, if you're eating 5,000 calories of vegan food, you will feel exhausted. But the point being is that you mistake your current energy level on your healthy vegan diet as something healthful in comparison to this. The reality is, of course, that you are in fight or flight mode due to your starvation on a plants only diet. You are running on stress hormones. This is why you look so sick. To capacity. That's what's going on. Every single time. One simple thing. Vegans don't see it. it. Takes all my energy. It saps everything out of me. And then from then on for the rest of the day, I'm just absolutely exhausted. And Why don't you just try a carnivore experiment next? Can't focus. Can't do anything productive. Yeah. As you can see at this point, things wow. weren't going great. But they're about to get a whole lot worse. Mm -hmm. It was the middle of the night. And I woke up and my heart was beating out of my chest like I had never experienced before in my life. I thought this was really strange. So I got up, sat on the toilet and just waited for a good five minutes to see if my heart rate would calm down. But then an hour later, I was sitting at my desk and I got this pain across my chest <sighs> and my left arm and leg. But isn't it cholesterol that clogs your arteries? You went vegan, so by default you must be healthy. My mind went into overdrive What's going and on? I started to panic. But being me, I just said, it's one of those things is absolutely fine. Sure enough, I carried on saying that for the next five days, despite constantly getting these weird pains in my chest and left arm and leg. After five days, I thought it's probably time to do something about this now. So I called up my doctor, explained my <laughs> symptoms to him. By no means will I tell you that being obese is healthy. Obviously not. But that being said, you have fat people and they are fat for decades before they get any health problems. This guy simply ate vegan in a caloric surplus and almost dies of a heart attack right away. He said, you need <laughs> to go to hospital as soon as possible. <laughs> all in all, I was in the hospital for six hours. They did an ECG test on me a scan of my lungs and also took my blood as well. And the conclusion was they couldn't see anything wrong and therefore told me to monitor the situation. Western medicine is so useless. The show could go on, but the whole experience really, really scared me. And it also reminded me how we should never take our health for granted. Oh, really? At this point, I was this close to quitting, but I thought back to the main two reasons why I did this journey in the first place. <laughs> that made me- He sacrificed himself for us. And push through to the end. <laughs> wow, man. If you would have done it with healthy animal foods at least. Wow. After six months of gaining weight, I'd gained 55 pounds. My body fat percentage had gone from 10% to 27.4%, which was classed as obese, and my BMI yep. had also crept into the obese range. This left me feeling self-conscious about my appearance when I was out. But now you're good. Could fit into were extremely tight. This picture is just absolutely priceless for me. There he sits with his dead butt, has an obligate carnivore right next to him and pretends he really had Burger King, but in reality just ate the bread with soy slop. Wow. Uh. Congratulations, man. Both are terribly unhealthy. Although the physical side of things was hard, the mental was even tougher. Having terrible sleep, no motivation. Oh man, he's reporting this as if he accomplished something. No energy for six months straight takes its toll. So it's day two of my weight loss process and I've just had a pasta dish. Now when I was gaining weight, I would have a very similar meal but it would be double the size and I would also have a large garlic baguette with it. So right now I'm feeling pretty hungry. Oh man, why do you make it so hard on yourself? Why do you guys make it so hard on yourself? 
all this guy can eat is carbs. That's plants. Plants are carbohydrates. Now he cannot eat his baguette. Now he has to reduce the portion size of the pasta. Why don't you just eat meat? Eat meat until you're satisfied. It is so much easier to lose fat on a ketogenic diet. You won't have any cravings. Your blood sugar will be stable consistently and you will be satiated because of the high fat and protein content. It is ideal. Hungry and also I'm craving that garlic baguette. There's nothing more that I'd like to do right now than eat one of them, so. Eat a steak, try it. I've got to try and distract myself from it. And the only saving grace is I've not got any of that junk food in the flap, because if it was here, I'd more than likely be eating it right now. Wow. To lose the weight, there are a few oh, key aspects. He looks so unhealthy, the terrible. The first was eating a whole food, plant-based diet, which is amazing for weight loss. This yeah. is because the majority <laughs> All right, can somebody tell me how this is ideal for weight loss? What do we got? We have broccoli, we have tomatoes, we have a bunch of vegetables filled with anti-nutrients, filled with goitrogens, and then we have a bunch of fruits that come with a bunch of sugar. We have sugar and anti-nutrients. We have no proteins and no fats here. Nobody will be satisfied after eating any of this. So ultimately, you fed it yourself up in the worst possible way and then you starved yourself in the worst possible way. Also very That's low it. calories. There are a few exceptions to this with food like nuts, avocados, and citrus. Notice that he doesn't look anything like on the pictures. Look at this. You have the saturation up. You have a filter here. This is how he would like to look like. And this is how he really looks like. Avocado wow. and seeds. However, the majority of plant-based whole foods Pale like the wall. Criteria. In the back. This Crazy. is exactly what you want when you're trying to lose weight. Because you want to be able to eat big, delicious portions of food that fill you up and yet still remain in a calorie deficit. Examples of the food. Yeah, that sounds a lot like meat, doesn't it? Food I was eating when I was losing weight is food like lentils, beans, rice, pasta, potatoes, and of course, a good protein source with each meal. Yeah. So food like temper, tofu, and seishin. Tampa. Man, this is absolutely disgusting. You have no quality protein source in here. If you would have done an animal-based diet, you could have lost the fat and kept much more muscle size. If you eat this crap in a caloric deficit, you simply cannibalize every tissue in your body. They have no idea. That's wild. What is this? Eating this way produces incredible results. In Incredible. fact, in the first eight weeks, I lost an amazing 10 kilograms, which is the same as 22 yeah, pounds through diet alone. Yes. After this, I began to implement exercise back into my routine, specifically resistance training. This type of training is great because not only do you burn lots of calories in the workout, mm -hmm. it also helps you build muscle. Mm -hmm. This boosts your- Yeah, and you build a lot of muscle. Metabolism, which I see. allows you to eat more food and helps you keep the weight off long term. What is happening, man? This is so important for recovery, regulating your hormones including your hunger and yeah let's regulate our hormones without eating cholesterol great idea satiety hormone and also whether your body gives up fat i can't or muscle. anymore another area that i really focused on was remaining active mm -hmm. i did this as much as possible by going for walks whenever i could finally accountability was key for me okay so okay let me fast forward big, the exact same applies for food you don't have to eat healthy vegan food for every single meal i certainly didn't but just one healthy meal is better than no healthy meals. Another thing that- Yes, exactly. One steak per day could save you. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it off here. Mind-blowing stuff as always. Those vegans never fail to amaze us here on this channel. This guy literally ate the same stuff with reduced sugar, reduced plant oils, reduced calories. Yes, if you are in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight. How optimal it is, that is a different question, of course. As I said, if you would have eaten quality protein, you actually could have kept much more muscle mass. You could have improved in the gym. Now you simply starved yourself and this is why you look so unhealthy. Anyways, this is it for today. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. 10% off on Grasslands Nutrition Organ Meats with my code BOBBY10. Go check it out. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. I appreciate it. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.